write it the influence of some external force influence of some external force they may they may change they may change their shape their shape and regain the same and regain regain the same after removal of after removal of applied force applied force just like just removal of applied force so this property is called as what guys this property is only called as all of you who is to called as respond elasticity, elasticity. elasticity. So what are the examples of elasticity you can give structural spring you can give it rubber band. as well as rubber band. Rubber rubber band. Band. yeah that is what so rubber band can be stretched by applying force but however if you remove the force as soon as if you remove the force the rubber band regains its original shape so that is what it will happen so that is only the same property even shown by even a spring also as soon as if you press it the it will ex, it will uh, it will be like uh, length is increases as soon as if you remove the if you remove that then again the spring will back to its original position is it right or wrong guys all of you yes please yes sir so that is what you have to remember clear so this is what about uh, fourth property next fifth property low compressibility low compressibility okay so now you tell me by applying the pressure is it possible to compress the solids more and more of course we can compress in somehow but is it possible to compress more anybody normal conditions understanding yes, because already particles are what are normal conditions already particles are what loosely packed or closely packed normal conditions close. normal conditions pa particles are very closely packed that is why it is very very hardly uh, they, they, do, they do not change their shape understanding hardly there is no any space between the particles that is why minute, minute space is present so that is the reason we cannot compress the solids, but that is why extremely low compressibility. For example, if you take glass slab, you might be knows glass. Is it possible to compress the glass, everybody? All of you? Yes, please. No, sir. If you try to compress the glass, what will happen? Breaks. It will break. Understand? So that is what you have to remember it. Clear, everyone? All of you. But if you see, we can compress some things like some extent also. That is also some extent, not like that. Sponge. We people can compress. Sand also. Little bit we can compress. How sand can we compress? Anybody? Because the particles having, like they are very, very small in size. So they are they're having little bit spaces. So we can compress them. So rubber. Rubber also we can compress. Suppose you are having eraser. Eraser or rubber. We can compress or not? Everybody. Yes, please. We can compress somehow. Yeah, clay like that. No but, doubt, sir. Yes. Sir, you said sand, no, sir. That crystalline, yeah. non-crystalline uh, so, arrangement sand is... Sand there. actually, Mari, sand if you take very... More amount of sand if you take, it will be like non-crystalline. But particular small, small sand if you see, it will be definitely having some shape. Yes or no? Sir, then means... Uh, all crystalline objects, uh, crystalline solids or uh, comes under the properties of solid, uh, sir. Yes, yes. Everything. Uh, sir, then amorphous solids. Amorphous solids also will be a solids only. But compression will be more. For example, Mari, if you take a uh, wheat flour, you, 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 kept in a, if you kept in a normal uh, jar. But when you are filling, if your mother asks you to fill the 5 kg wheat flour into the bottle, have you noticed that if you shake, you can shake it, shake it, shake it, and you can fill it fully? Yes or no? Yes, sir. And with your hand, if you press it, that volume will be definitely compressed and you will get some little space to fill that more wheat flour. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. That is what it is. But you cannot compress more than that. Have you noticed it? Yes, sir. To some extent you can, but you cannot compress more. Is it right or wrong, guys? We all experience it or not? Yes, sir. Okay. So that is what we can do. Okay. But we cannot, uh, you, you cannot understand sand. That's nothing. Amma. For example, your father will give you like 5 kg sand. 
ask you to fill in a small cover okay now you fill 4 kg you fill 4 kg sand and cover is almost filled now you want to fill remaining 1 kg sand so what you will do slowly you will shake the cover shake the cover shake the cover so that you can see all the sand will be settled 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 so that you will get a little space in the above so that that 1 kg also you can fill understand ama that is what it is so some extent you can but your father will give 10 kg but still he ask you to fill is it possible to compress more no sir understanding so okay. some extent we can but further we cannot be that is what we used to call as low compressibility clear for for example your father will give you iron suppose 10 kg iron piece understanding and he asked you to fill in a 5 kg ka, 5 kg cover is it possible to fill no iron cannot be compressed because particles are more stronger yes or no more strong understand and they are very very crystalline in nature so this crystalline one we people cannot be filled because they are big in size and particles are very tightly packed so it is very difficult to compress is it okay guys all of you please respond yes sir. yeah yes, sir. that is what so some solids we can compress some extent but more than that we cannot that is why they are saying low compressibility why they are having low compressibility because particles are very closely packed or loosely packed particles are closely packed. closely packed they do not have much spaces they have very very hardly they have no spaces any space is not present between them extremely small that is why if you try to compress the glass slab and all what will happen it will be breaks clear everybody so that is what clear low compressibility write it solids cannot be compressed at normal conditions solids cannot be cannot be compressed under normal conditions under normal conditions because we know that solids having what solids the particles are very closely packed or loosely packed particles closely are packed. Closely, closely packed closely packed and therefore they have hardly less spaces or more spaces hardly they are having less spaces less yeah. hardly have they have hardly have less spaces So that is the reason. But some solids we can compress. What is a solids example? Somehow we can compress because like any solids filled with the air, we people can compress somehow. That is what we can make it. Okay, write it. We cannot, we cannot compress, compress the glass slab, but there are some solids which can be compressed, but there are some solids which can be compressed which can be compressed like sand sponge because why guys sponge is filled with what sponge is filled with what air understanding yeah. sponge and rubber rubber because these solids have spaces okay which are filled by what everybody which are filled by air so if i press it the air will go out so that particles will come closer is it okay everybody understood or not yes so that is what it is next one sixth property Anybody having any doubt till here, you can ask me. Next, the sixth property is negligible kinetic energy. Negligible. Again, again, same reason. Why guys they're having negligible kinetic energy? Anyone? Because what is the reason? Particles are closely packed. Very particles are very closely packed. That is what you have to remember. That is why you can write directly. Because particles, because particles particles need to need space space to 
move to move which is absent or almost negligible absent in case of solids so because they are very very what solids as they how they are packed as they are closely closely packed okay that is what you have to do okay guys so is the particles will move freely in solids that is what the question is the particles will move freely no sir no say so do not they do not move freely is it okay guys everybody yes sir next so this property is a very important property which i already taught you the last property that is what diffusion less or no diffusion so if you notice it if you write the chalk piece with the chalk piece on the board in one month before no before vacation so after vacation if you go slightly the diffusion is taking place yes or no guys is it more taking place i already taught you this examples your old notebooks you take that the ink is spreading throughout the page is it right or wrong old notebooks all of you yes please we studied yes, on sir. solid diffusion examples yes or no mr mari kishor darshan that is what yes, so if you see that if you write the board on now and if you erase it easily can erase but if you write the board and if you erase after 10 days 15 days it is easy to erase or difficult to erase difficult to erase yes or no because slightly diffusion will takes place so that is what the thing so diffusion gases and liquids very very high but coming to the solids basically either no diffusion or some diffusion will be there clear everyone so because again same thing they are having more kinetic energy or less kinetic energy again less kinetic energy less kinetic energy clear but some solids special they are called as sublimate substances what is the examples of sublimates camphor dry ice etc so these things they will be very fast diffusion understand everybody basically so solids does that. not have any diffusion but like sublimate substances they have more diffusion is it okay guys everybody yes please yes, yes sir that is uh, nice. yeah sir uh, in the double para yeah. to move which is uh, what is it after that which is mari sir negligible oh, kinetic which is energy. absent in case of solids which is absent in the case of solids okay that is okay right solids generally do not show solids generally do not show diffusion what is the reason agalya alfin diffusion because their particles are what sangamitra having more kinetic energy or less kinetic energy less kinetic energy, energy. Less kinetic energy. their particles have very less kinetic energy less kinetic energy that is why it may be a very very less diffusion or no diffusion but there are some solids what is that called as there are some solids who is that example sublimate substances understanding sublimates like camphor camphor and dry ice dry ice means what guys anybody can tell me dry ice carbon dioxide yeah solid, solid co2 dry ice which shows diffusion which show diffusion sir camphor means what sir camphor means uh, in in front of god we will make it correct do you remember agar the tagarbati la another one karpuram what we say tamil yes sir yes sir yeah, that is okay va yes sir yeah that is so that's also an a sublimation yeah that is also sublimation if you expose to atmosphere slowly it will be like an aphthalene ball so it will be evaporate slowly yes, okay sir. yeah that is what so this is all about uh, all the seven properties of solids i hope you all understand a uh, candle is not diffused amma candle will be solid only okay candle wax is a very solid it won't be diffused okay so this is what about the seven properties all the properties definite shape and volume second property what is the second property everybody 
ability to form lattice and next one little cubical expansion third one high rigidity fifth one for so fourth one fifth one low compressibility sixth one negligible kinetic energy and seventh one less or no diffusion understand everybody so now to understand this all the properties of solids now i will give you the task and i will ask you to perform so if you perform this activity you can observe all the properties of solids in different uh, solid objects okay so what is this activity you should perform and you should tell me either all the properties are true or not so to study the properties of solids you people need to take materials required you all should take a pen after the class you perform and you tell me next class a book and you take a needle be very careful small needle and a piece of thread okay, okay? these are the materials you people need to take and you have to make processor so what you have to do it i'll say you. so okay draw the shape of a pen draw a shape of a book and a needle and as well as a piece of a thread by moving a pencil around these objects that is the step one processor everybody clear all of you yes please yes, Understood, yes. so you have to draw a shape of it next waste pen you can take waste book also next apply the different types of forces maybe pulling pushing hammering dropping understanding breaking everything on these objects so now and try to compress them one by one but a needle compression be very careful compression means you should not be sharp edges you should not be is it clear everybody all of you understood ma so that is what so you now observe this activity after performing this all the things applying different kind of forces now you tell me what is the questions three questions i will say you you have to write the answers and you have to tell me the conclusion tomorrow's class first question have you observed any kind of distinct boundaries fixed volume and definite shape in all these three articles that is the first thing all these articles first question once again i am saying please remember word normally first thing have you observed distinct boundaries fixed volume and definite shape in all the articles first thing second one where you able to compress them by applying some force understand it? like which objects next is it possible for all these articles to diffuse into one another that is what it is so this is the four things totally so you have to find it either they are having a distinct boundaries fixed volume and definite shape in all these objects is it able to compress them by applying some forces third one is this articles are diffusing one another so the, you have to find it so this is what is our task the, definitely it is a very silly task but uh, you have to analyze and you have to be practically experience it also but handle with the needle needle you avoid it you take pen book and uh, piece of thread that is enough so observe the three things so once you studied this one then in our tomorrow's class we will discuss what is the liquid state and what is the properties of liquid of course liquid properties is also very important and then we will study the gaseous properties so once the gaseous properties is over then we will go to the fourth state of matter what is the fourth state of matter we all know everybody plasma plasma and fifth state of matter also that is called as bose einstein bose yeah that is what so totally you should study this so maximum within two days this concept measurement of temperature till that we will finish it then we will go with the interconversion states of matter so that is what very important of this chapter then once the interconversion states of matter actually that is the most important one for our future uh, like a uh, higher classes also so once that is over almost uh, this chapter will be completed so maximum by month, this month end we will try to finish this chapter is it okay guys everybody Yeah. Okay, sir. Only ten okay. days. We'll try to finish it. Okay. With this, I'll stop. Sir, okay. can you please down the screen to yeah. negligible kinetic energy? Okay, Mari. Here is it, Mari. So that is what. So this is all. Sir, about negligible kinetic class. energy. Negligible kinetic energy. Okay. So this is what about the today's class. Anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. Clear, everybody. Alfin, Agalia, Sanjay, Nivedan, Mr. Pranav, Sam. Yeah. All sir. the seven properties of solid. Okay, sir. Okay. So from here, we'll continue. Thank you, everybody. Thank you sir. Thank you.